Well, hello there. I uh, wanted to make another video now that I got my Filmora working again. I wanted to make a video about, well, topic of celebrity cloning. But I wanted to make a video specifically about Dave Chappelle. A lot of people talking about him being replaced. There's evidences for it. I mean, I wouldn't say evidences, but there's definitely some circumstantial evidence supporting it. I mean, you know, I don't want to bear false witness. Maybe the guy just started working out like a crazy person and he just got big and he looks different, but you know, and if and if and if he is the same old Dave, then imagine how bad he would feel if he had to listen to Dave's a clone, Dave's a clone 24/7. But going under the idea that it could be possible, he did do such a 180. You know, one minute he's He's like, I'm going to Africa, and the next minute, you know, he's in the actor studio talking about, well, I'll show little clips here and there from that interview where he hints at Illuminati stuff. But then also, I've put forward some pictures comparing before and after Dave's. And I just got to say that, uh, I don't know, some of it seems like a red flag. I pray for all these guys in Hollywood, trapped. And uh, you know, when you start seeing celebs taking 180s, next thing you know, you got pictures of Dave throwing up the 666 and making Illuminati jokes. Well, let's get with the video and start with that. In this next little second long clip here, he purposely puts his foot up on the stage and he's got his pant leg rolled up, which is a sign of the third Masonic, well, the first and third Masonic levels, where the way they dress you up with one pant leg rolled up uh, and in sandals, no metal. He just hints at the initiation rites and then makes a crack about the Illuminati Christmas party. The old Dave would have never done that. But let's proceed. Well, you know, I'm a public person. I can't just say everything I actually think. It's a little bit too much. No, 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 there'll be none of that. <laughs> I don't speak freely once a year, nigga. The uh, Illuminati Christmas party. <laughs> okay, this first picture shows Dave back in the day. And he used to always wear these those hats. You know. Um, his skin color is completely different. Um, his bone structure seems different. The Dave on the right, he's, it's almost like a completely different shape to his face. But I mean, the skin color pigmentation thing is a strange giveaway. Maybe it could be lighting or After Effects and Photoshop, but who knows. I know that uh, <clears throat> the the massive uh, weight gain and the voice change is what set me off to it. My dad takes me outside and he's like, listen, and this is some advice that applies to all you acting students. He says, to be an actor is a lonely life. Everybody wants to make it and you might not make it. And I say to my dad, well, well that depends on what making it is, dad. Smart, smart ass kid. Yeah. It depends on what making it is there. He says, What do you mean? I said, Well, you're a teacher. I said, If I can make a teacher salary doing comedy, I think that's better than being a teacher. And he started laughing. He said, If you keep that attitude, I think you should go. He said, But name your price in the beginning. If it ever gets more expensive than the price you name, get out of there. Mm -hmm. Thus, Africa. The second picture shows Dave walking down the street with a backpack here, and he's just ripped. And then, of course, there's the Dave we all know and love, who's just a skinny little dude <clears throat> telling jokes. I mean, uh, the skin skin pigment is a little different, but again, it could be lighting. And uh, it seems that, uh, again, he disappeared and came back doing a 180. 
Literally. Yeah, oh, you guys gonna learn a lot tonight. <laughs> what can they learn? You know, like you guys are students now, so you're idealists, but you don't know about where art and corporate interests meet yet. Just prepare to have your heart broken. <laughs> like, in a way, <laughs> you see him laughing at evil laugh? <laughs> 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 because he knows, man, and everybody laughs at me, but just get your Africa tickets ready, baby, because it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. You, you have no idea. This next picture is creepy, and even the way I framed it. You got the, the Dave on the left throwing up the 666, and the Dave on the right really shocked that it's even happening. Because truth be told, uh, I don't know, speculation aside, some people say they're just body doubles. It's like, really? You think it would be easier to find a double than it would be just to cl duplicate clone somebody? <clears throat> Which goes back to my theory that once, <clears throat> if a celebrity isn't playing ball, they just, they just push them to self-destruct and they end up waking up in a clone body and then they have them. So much pressure. Africa. This next picture again. It's Dave in the same shirt at the Block Party Festival with a brighter uh, lit photo. And you can see Dave's skin's pretty dark. And this new Dave, as they call him, is, his skin isn't really the same. It has more of a reddish hue to it. I maybe I don't want to offend anybody, but I'm also a painter. And Vincent Van Gogh once said, it doesn't matter what your subject matter is, it's the color you choose. And his skin color clearly looks different. You know, when we did Blue Streak, we were promoting it, you know, and Martin had a stroke. He almost died. And then after that, I saw him, and I was like, oh my God, Martin, are you okay? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life. <laughs> That's how tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. And this last picture was from a video called Dave Chappelle's Cousin Admits Dave Has Been Killed and Cloned. The video has since disappeared offline. No one can find it. Just scrapped from online, Gandhi, Nahasa Petapetalon. And this was the thumbnail for it. And again, you clearly see the difference in pigmentation of his skin. And the new Dave, he... <clears throat> I don't know, he seems to have even a bit of a different demeanor. And of course, his voice sounds different, like he's smoking 10 packs a day. But, I mean, I don't know. Take it for what it is, you know... I'd very much like to see that video, the interview with his cousin, ripped off of the internet. I don't even know what her name is, but, <clears throat> or whatever. But it seems pretty red flaggish that uh, all intel about this is gone. But all this is getting a little too strange over there in Hollywood. Maybe the environment, Maybe the environment is, a little sick. is a little sick. Yeah, like I'm saying, in conclusion. I mean, I wish I could get a hold of that interview, analyze it, and watch it. I mean, shout out to Verlex, too. He makes some good videos about this. And uh, I just thought, you know, it's possible, it's not possible, who knows? I mean, I'm just speculating here. I, don't, I definitely don't mean to be, you know, assuming anything. I'm just looking at it and wondering. All them years back, man, I think Professor Griff was onto something when he started talking about the $20 million club. Dave amped it up. Now you could say it's the $50 million club.
But either way, I pray for his family. And I hope someone out there, if you, if you can find that original interview with Dave's cousin, reports that Dave is dead and cloned, or whatever it was called, please put it in the comments below, yo. And I guess, I don't know, I'll just leave it at that. And say peace out.